Hey guys, we are in the basement and uh, I want to show you guys a couple of new additions. First of all, I kind of moved some stuff around now, so Dragon Spirit is hanging out in the entranceway here. Um, but I added a couple games. I got rid of a game. Um, I actually got rid of Tubin, and I picked up two new games, and one of them is this one here. It's called Tapper, and uh, I love it. This is a game I've wanted for some time, and uh, it has this cool kind of like bar theme. And this one is actually Budweiser Tapper. There's also, also Root Beer Tapper. And I guess the idea here was this was a game that they could sell into bars because it kind of has like bar-like features. It has a little foot bar down here that's all brass. It has drink holders here, and it has little beer taps here as you play the game. And uh, if you've never played the game, it's pretty great. It is an MCR uh, game like Tron here, and uh, they're kind of problematic pain in the ass games, and this one uh, actually has a new MCR power supply switcher in it, and I'm probably going to take it out because, I don't think you hear this, but it kind of creates this little hum that, that is driving me insane. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm working on that right now, but other than that, the cabinet is great, the gameplay is great, and uh, I just love it, and uh, I'll make a, get the tripod out here, and I'll show you kind of how it plays. And also, real quick here, uh, this was the other game I picked up, Paperboy, and uh, I'll be putting a video of, that, of that, that up shortly, so let me get the tripod and I'll show you how this game plays. Okay guys, well actually, I just fixed the hum problem on my tapper, and I don't know if you heard in the video prior there, but the tapper was humming, and the reason it was doing that was because of this. Someone installed an MCR uh, switcher adapter, which is this little piece here, and what this does is it allows you to install a very common and readily available switching power supply here. Um, and this is what was causing my hum. Um, originally it had an MCR power supply which looks like this, which and these do go bad and they typically go bad. Um, I had an extra one that is working and I installed this into my tapper and bam, the hum went away. So very happy about that. But the one downfall with using this versus this is that this has had the battery removed, which is what you want because these batteries leak. But these batteries also save the high score, which is good because I want that. So. What you can do is you can replace the battery with a cordless foam battery here. I went to Ace Hardware and I picked up one of these. You want to get a 3.6 volt uh, cordless foam battery. And I read online that you should get 300 to 600 uh, milliamps per hour. Um, they had 700, which should, I think should be okay. I think this has something to do with how long it keeps the charge or something like that, whatever. Uh, but these things were 15 bucks, not really cheap, but um, I definitely want to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and solder the positive and the negative here in the appropriate points. I'm actually going to add some more wire to this. And I'm going to install this in the bottom of the cabinet uh, away from this so that if it does leak, um, it doesn't leak onto the power supply board. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, guys, we have the battery installed. And you can see I made the wire long enough so I can kind of have it hanging away from the power supply. And basically what you want to do is splice into the uh, battery and uh, positive to positive, negative to negative. On the MCR power supply, positive is labeled. And I just soldered to these two leads. I didn't have any black wire, so I used green for the ground. So just keep your polarity straight. And uh, that's really about it. Just solder it. And after you do this, though, you need to leave your game on for a, a good while. They say 14 hours because you need to charge this battery. And uh, But once it's charged, uh, it, it should maintain your high scores. Um, I will say this, though. I put one of these in my Tron, and every now and then it loses the high scores. I'm wondering if maybe I used... Um, too low or high rated uh, milliamp per hour battery. Um, so this is a 700, we'll see. I don't know what I put in my Tron, but uh, maybe this will work better, we'll see. So let's uh, let's put the Tron back together and uh, show you how it plays. Okay, we have it all back together. It's working, it's silent, there's no hum. All you hear is the music and uh, so yeah, that fixed my hum problem, and now I have high score saved too. So anyway, let me set up the tripod, and now we will definitely play the game. Okay, we're back, and we're ready to play some Tappa. Uh, one thing worth mentioning here, on the bottom it says free play. Um, oddly enough, for whatever reason, this game doesn't have free play. Um, there's no dip switch setting for it, so I had to basically... Uh, 
patch my ROM. And if you do a search for Tapper Free Play Online, you'll find uh, a patch. And what you need to do is you remove one of the ROMs from the board, uh, you load the file on your computer, and then you apply this patch, and there's a Java patching program. Um, so I did that yesterday, and now I have Free Play. All my games are on Free Play. Um, I just like it that way. I would love though to do tokens because tokens are kind of cool because you can kind of keep track of who plays what and how many, which games get played. But right now we're all, everything's on free play, so free play is a must for me. So I have that installed. So anyway, uh, Tapper. So again, the control panel you have these little uh, Budweiser taps, and you pull back to serve beer, and then the joystick you move that up and down to move your character. So, and it's this little mustache guy. Um, this game was actually invented by Marvin Glass, who licensed it to Belly Midway. And they also did Timber and uh, Domino Man. And I have Domino Man in the garage. And they, they all featured this mustache guy. And uh, so I kind of want to get all three of them. So right now I have two. All right, so let's start the game. And so basically the game is you are you're serving these, uh, these patrons at a bar. And the object is to get them out of the bar with the beer. And when you shoot a beer at them, they leave the restaurant I mean the, the bar so that's the first round and uh, it's basically the whole game really but it gets harder and it gets harder and harder to get the people out of the bar and they'll leave tips too and if you get the tip then a band will start playing uh, and they'll be distracted and if you serve a drink to them it'll go right past them and crash now, that's a little bonus level so this guy's shaking up these cans and so we need to figure out which can he didn't shake, which is that one, and then watch it. And then what you do is you put your bartender in front of the can he didn't shake, and you open it, and then you get a 3,000 point bonus. And if you pick the wrong can, it explodes in his face. So this is the second level, and uh, this is like the sports stadium. Whoops, I see. Now see there, I just served too many drinks and it broke and I just lost a life. And if you ever play this game on Xbox Live or any of the consoles, it's just not the same. You gotta have this little tapper thing to serve the beers. Now I'm gonna get a tip right here. And when I do, these little chillers come out. And now people are distracted, but not all of them. So you have to pay attention to who's distracted and who's not and serve the appropriate amount of drinks. And I find that if you don't get rid of the people right away, the game gets really hard, especially this level. All right, so we got rid of them. And essentially there's four levels. There's the Western Bar, which was the first one, the Stadium, the Punk Rock Board, um, and then an Outer Space one, where you serve aliens. And you want to get the empty glasses before they get to the end of the bar. Keep playing here to see if I can get to the uh, punk rock board. Ah, shit. Ah, fudge. Get out of here. Alright, so we've cleared that level. I think the next level is a bonus level, and then we're at the punk rock level. And there's the cute little animations in between the levels like that. Um, so we're not on the punk rock one. Alright, so we cleared that one. So now we're going to go on to another bonus level, then we're going to clear that, and then we're going to get to the, uh, the punk rock level, and then after that is the alien one, which actually I've never even gotten to since I've gotten this. And I'm going to purposely open um, one that he did shake, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. <laughs> oh well. I tried to select one that he didn't shake, but I wasn't. Anyway, I got lucky. So this is the punk rock level, and the big difference is this: is the bars are kind of staggered. So anyway, that's it, guys. That is Tapper, and you get the idea. And uh, it's cool. I love it. It's definitely been a game I've wanted since I got into the hobby, and I finally got a nice one. Um, site art is perfect on this thing. So anyway, guys, there you have it. We'll see you around later. Mm-hmm. <laughs>